All right, I restarted it to try to turn off that echo problem. And let's continue. Oh no! What did I call that? Quickly before we need it. Ground experiment all ran together as one word. Uh, to answer the earlier question I was asked about why I'm not using FAR, it's mostly because I have to be quite picky about uh, which mods I have and which I don't because I'm trying to fit under the memory cap. Um, I used to use FAR a lot before Squad came up with a better uh, aerodynamics model than they used to have. When their original one was really awful, then I used to use FAR all the time. Now that their model is still not perfect, but certainly a lot better than it was, I, I'm okay with using stock aerodynamics most of the time. I'm fine with it. Um, nothing wrong with FAR. I just have to be very careful about how many mods I include. And I kind of like the visualization enhancement ones, and they pretty much eat up most of the memory limit. So, you know, maybe, maybe once I can run 64-bit, I'll put FAR on. In fact, if I run Realism Overhaul, I'll get FAR by default. Okay. It all really comes down to whether or not this is aimed right to land in the highlands or not. If it doesn't land in the highlands, my space program is over. It's looking kind of rocky, kind of afraid that this may be mountains. I'm getting some really awful Z-buffer arguing on the graphics there. Look at that. Yeah, That is messy. Come on. You can do it. Come on, land. Try to land. Very, very, very slowly. It really all comes down to this. If if this is Highlands, my career can continue. If not, it really can't. Ah! Seismic scan from Kerbin's Highlands! Pressure scan from Highlands! 
And all I have to do is recover, and I think it counts. Um, why didn't this count? I already tested the structural pylon. Eh, whatever. Come on. It counted! Yay! My space program's not dead. All right. It's not dead, but I have a really bad reputation for a while. It's going to take a while to have that climb back out of the dumps. Although, I don't actually know what reputation is for in the game. The only thing I've ever seen reputation be used for is in this building to spend it to buy things with. I'm, I'm wondering if that's actually all the game ever uses it for. It's just as a sort of currency with which to buy the other two currencies by use of the strategies building. Okay, 39 science is still not going to be enough for any of these, but I have the funding to continue on, which is good. Flight above. Flight above. I wonder if I'm willing to temporarily suspend my try to automate everything rule just to get this investigate the island airfield, which requires a manned pilot. Because this just looks neat. Find the burnt pod in the hangar. That sounds interesting to me. Climb to the top of the control tower. I mean, this is this is just a neat contract. I've never seen this before. And I might do it just because it's something I can do. And it sounds kind of fun. So I think I'm actually going to pull that one in and then try to figure out why the pylon didn't count. I'm not sure why it didn't. Okay, so I will not be able to use a safety parachute. I must make sure that my craft works well. Here is a little engine and a bigger engine. The bigger engine actually, or the bigger fuselage actually costs less, weirdly enough. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. For this, I won't need anywhere near that much fuel. That'll be way too much, but that will be fine for my needs. I will need the intake. Come on, let me click it. I will need the intake. Well, now I feel dumb, because I actually need the little one after all to get these to attach properly without being able to put anything on the nose. Oh, I just wasted the money to buy that, because I don't actually need that yet. This is the one I need in order to put two of these on. I like that. Do I have a good tailpiece? I do not, so I will use this. I will need wings. Let's see what's a good little wing for this thing. It's not going to be big. And I actually think I'm going to put the wings right here. need to make sure I don't uh, block the exit port, because I'm going to have to EVA 
to finish the contract. Ah, there we go. That's what I need. Actually, that's better than that. There we go. Good, good, very good. Make that a yaw only device. that a pitch only device. Good. Now I keep hearing everyone claiming that you get better. Oh, this is the piece. It's not that. I, I tested the wrong piece. Let me reread the contract. Activate the part through the staging sequence. Okay, but it was the wrong part. Wow, that thing is big. Okay, I'll just, uh... Leave that up on top there for now and... Not really do anything with it. I'll just eject it when I start. And that'll get me my thing. Okay, no, anyway, back to the wings. I need good wings for this. What would be a good wing? Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll throw these wings on. And go ahead and allow these to also do roll. So that they're effectively elevons. Because I think that'll get me what I need. Yeah. And I think I'll have enough roll control that way. Landing gear. Probably want some landing gear. That would be important. Good. Let's put some front landing gear on that thing. And of course, they're not lined up right. I'll fix that in a second. Let's uh, move that forward. Move it up a bit. Good. And the center of mass is right on the fuel tank, which is perfect where you want it. Center of lift. I don't seem to see it on the screen. Oh! Blah, blah, no, I don't want it way back there. Uh, how do I get that center of lift more forward? Suppose I could move these up, but then I'm blocking my own exit again. Okay. Uh, let's do this, then. You. Up high. Uh, in tight, down to touch the roof a bit more, and now I can make you go forward and you won't block the exit. Oh, gee, I forgot that's where the, uh, that's where the landing gear are. Think. Since I put it on with symmetry, I think I can actually split these into two different landing gear. There we go. It's kind of a narrow wheelbase, but it may have to do. Man, I 
don't like having the center lift way back there, though. That's not where it needs to be, man. It's probably these winglets doing it. That just looks stupid. <laughs> stupid, but possibly um, plausible. Yeah, it's stupid, but I'm doing it. All right, there we go. And for this, we need someone who actually knows how to fly. We've got someone who knows how to fly. All right, let's uh, let's try it. <laughs> Um, yes, this is not uh, FAR. Alright, so, first off... <laughs> there we go! That counts as testing it. Secondly, let's test my controls before I actually take off. Alright. That looks like they're all working right. I'm gonna start with a low, slow roll down the runway. Just to make sure I've got things going on right here. Make sure none of the controls are reversed, because that'll sometimes happen if you're not careful. There we go. Alright, let's do it for reals. I'm gonna trim the pitch up. And then I'm going to stop and hit the brakes. Because I am not lifting off the ground. No, you don't. All right. All right, looks like I do need to have that center lift further forward because it cannot lift up. I guess that's technically our first crewed mission, yeah. This doesn't need to be on there anymore. Problem is they put they wouldn't put that darn door right where I need a wing. And I can't cover it up with the landing gear if I want someone to be able to get out either. Because I think part of the problem is that landing gear needs to be further forward if I want to take off too. But again, uh, I can't put it there if I want to get out. Alright, let's do this then. Let's try very low wings instead of very high. And actually, if I'm going to do very low wings, I'm going to put the wings on separate. So that can move them forward. Move them down a bit. I 
wonder if it'll let me get out that hatch. It should. That doesn't mean it will. And I don't need this enormous tail. That's just making things worse. Let's make it a tiny tail. Yeah, I suppose I could just put the... I can actually just put these out on front. Come on, switch modes. I mean, realistically, that should be fine. That'll be better. That looks a lot better. Although it does put the fuel not on the center of mass, so as I burn fuel it'll move the center of mass a bit forward, but I think we'll still be okay. check that that's still set up. Turn off the yaw, but leave the other two on. Turn off the other two, but leave the yaw. Okay. I think... I think that works? Still nervous about that exit, though. Let me give it a little more room. I'm gonna move this back just a tad. Move this forward just a tad hoping that there's enough of a gap to let the guy out. I really like making little planes in KSP. It's kind of a shame that it's really only useful early in the game, because later on, you don't really need them anymore. But for these early contracts, it's quite useful. Alright, so first thing I want to do is just this. Can I EVA the hue? I am allowed to EVA. That kinda matters. Ooh. But I won't be able to get back in if I EVA. That's too high of a drop. Let me get back in and double check something. If I turn off the landing gear, and then EVA. Will I be able to walk around, and then get back in? I will. Okay. That is how I will do that. Well, 
Let's try that again. There we go. <laughs> now I will trim the elevators up a bit. And let's go. Okay, trimmed them up a bit too much. Let me pop that down. Way down before I stall. Come on, down, down. There we go. Alright, we have a flyable plane. I think that question mark is where I'm going. I don't know if I want to risk physics warping in an aircraft. Physics warp tends to be... tends to really hate airplanes. Come on. Alright, I may be going a bit too fast here for this. Let's back this off a bit. Just because it takes a long time to bleed speed away and you need to bleed it away before you can really land. Yeah, I'm not really doing anything particularly KOS-ish at the moment. But maybe I'll get around to that next episode a bit more. I'm, I'm rethinking my strategy of trying to make all my script development occur during stream while people watch. I may do a bit more of it off-stream and then show it on-stream. Trying to bleed a little bit of speed off here. should be landing at about 70 or 80 on this kind of a craft, maybe even less. What's this say? Discover the airfield. Oh, okay. Okay, now I'm going a little too slow. Go ahead and let it drop. Let it drop. Get a bit of speed. If 
remember rightly, the terrain right before the runway is kind of a big cliff. There we go. Good. Good. Nice. Break gently. And then all the way. Okay, there we go. Nicely landed. Now I will turn and see what that thing in the hangar is that it was talking about. do the thing I tried doing before, which was gear off so it lands, and then EVA myself. Oh, look for the burned out pod. I did already do that. Oh, okay. So it counted that already. Now it wants me to climb to the top of the little tower. <laughs> Looks like one of the buildings in downtown Boston in Fallout 4. So I'm hoping that there's an actual stairwell I can use. I don't have to actually like land a helicopter up there or something. Ah, there is. Okay, good. Oh, the camera is going to be really annoying during this, I think. Come on, Jeb. Get a stair workout going. What? Oh. Camera got right above his head and then forgot which way it was forward. I don't think I've ever actually done this before. I don't think I've ever actually seen what's in this tower. <sighs> Come on. Rotate the camera back down. There. Come on. Man, there's a lot of stairs here. <sighs> Jeb's getting his little physical exercise here, getting ready for his final missions he's going to do later. There's grass. Well, I've already climbed up this high. I may as well finish the job. Where the heck? Okay, there we go. Interesting. It's kind of interesting that they don't actually have a well-developed control tower near the actual runway that you're supposed to use for everything in-game. Oh man, that camera is annoying when it does that. I think I just go back into the airplane and fly back home and get full recovery cost for the airplane.
because I am short on money and care about that quite a lot. Falling down the stairs. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeb! Then we told you not to run downstairs. Next thing you know, you'll be flying with scissors. Thunk! Come on, get up. I heard that all the various Easter eggs in the game. Once upon a time, there was a plan to sort of make a plot that interconnected them and explained why they were all there, but that that plot got abandoned because that particular developer left Squad fairly early into the into the development cycle. So we never actually got to find out what that was going to be. But like, that's the reason why you have like abandoned spaceships here and there, why you've got this abandoned station, why you have a previous Kerbal Space Center on the other continent. Um, that there, there, that there was, a, there was supposed to have been a story behind all that, and the story got dropped. Which is kind of a shame, because I kind of would have liked to have known what that was supposed to have been. Double time, double time, run, 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 double time, go, 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 go. Um, orbit? No. <laughs> Why is my nav ball in orbit mode? Maybe I clicked it and didn't realize it. There we go. See, th another game that I might be interested in trying to stream someday, because I really like it, um, is the little indie game called Else Heart Dot Break. Because um, I've played it through, I know how the ending goes, and there'd be a lot less mucking about and uh, uncertainty involved, because I actually already know how to solve it. I've played it a couple of times. Um, and I think that might be an, make an interesting little walkthrough to, to play that. The only downside to it is you wouldn't want to watch it unless you were never planning on playing the game yourself because it's a very spoilerific game where there's just no way you can play it without ruining it in the in the sense of the entirety of the point of the game is to learn the spoilers but even so I think there's a large enough audience of people who might be interested in watching it played through but who wouldn't necessarily be interested in doing it themselves Now to take off again. Need to not kind of gonna try and cut a diagonal across here on my takeoff route, not go across that grass. There we go. And get some pitch up again and throttle up. Come on, turn. There, there we, we go. go.
I don't normally like using SAS for airplanes. I prefer to trim it. But if I use time acceleration, I sort of have to. Because if I don't, I will end up... Uh, the, the little tiny fluctuations don't quite work right at double time. Am I echoing Am I again? Echoing again? Well, that's a shame. Well, that's a shame. Uh, uh, all right, all right. Um, um, tell you what, tell I you will what. Land I will this land first. this first because because I don't want to I don't want to stop stop now, now while I'm in the middle of the landing. Of the landing. Is, is my, echo my echo purely coming, purely coming of, from, of, my, from voice, my voice, or is the or game, is the echoing, game echoing, echoing, is the background, is the background music echoing, echoing, or is it, echoing, or is it only, or is my, it only voice? my voice? Voice, voice only. only. Okay. Okay. Then, then, let me try let me something. Let me try something. All I did is All mute, I did the, is microphone mute the microphone and turn, microphone it, back and turn on. it back on. Dang it, this is it, coming, this in, is too coming in too hot. I need to slow, need it, down. To slow it down. Okay, okay. so muting the so mic, muting didn't, the mic work. didn't work. Let me do this a bit do to this try to, to kill, try my speed, kill my speed some. some. Take it. I'll take it. <laughs> so I may as well do a crew well report, report for here while I'm at it. While I'm at it. What I may what do I may is do I may just, is I may just cut, cut the stream off here, off for, tonight here for tonight because I because I, I was feeling I was a little feeling bit sick and headachey most, most of the day, so I probably so want to probably keep it relatively, keep it relatively short, short tonight. tonight. Um, um, rather than, rather doing, doing, a than doing a restart from this, point, from this point, why don't I just say that for tonight I'm done? I'm done, and I think that'll be that'll be better than me restarting at this point. Thanks you all for watching. For watching, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy talking about this. What I, what I intend to do next, to do next time, time, I'm talking, I'm talking slowly, slowly because I know, there's, because an I know there's an echo. What I intend, what I intend to, do next to do next time is try, is to, try prep to prep one or two one or scripts, scripts beforehand, beforehand so that I don't, so have, that to I don't have to them compose them in front of, of your eyes, your eyes but, I can walk but I can walk through, through them in front of your eyes. And I will have them tested out a bit in a sandbox way before I then try to use them in the game. But I will be continuing this career probably during this week. Uh, the likeliest time seems to be Wednesday, the way my schedule is going at the moment. But uh, Fridays are much more certain. I am, I am absolutely going to be doing it every time on Friday, plus one or two other days during the week that will fluctuate depending on that week. Really? The echo got better? All I did is slow down how fast I talk. I don't understand. But uh, 
I'm going to call it off for tonight, and thank you all for watching.